Христос воскрес! Воистину воскрес! Christ is risen, indeed he is risen. The joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who encounter Jesus. Those who accept his offer of salvation are set free from sin, sorrow, inner emptiness, and loneliness. With Christ, joy is constantly born anew, says our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ with our families and friends is unique every year, and yet it has some routine to it. According to the services provided in our churches, we contemplate, reflect, and live again during Lent the suffering and death and resurrection of Jesus. We join Christ in this sorrowful yet triumphant journey and are called to always make it more personal and real in our lives. Our traditions are made fresh by all the obstacles we face and overcome daily by accepting Christ's forgiveness. The Holy Father invites us and exhorts us to this very thing in his recent letter, Evangelii Gaudium. Lord, I have let myself be deceived. In a thousand ways I have shunned your love. And yet here I am once more to renew my covenant with you. I need you. Save me once again. Lord, take me more into your redeeming embrace. How good it feels to come back to him whenever we are lost. Let me say this once more. God never tires of forgiving us. We are the ones who tire of seeking his forgiveness and his mercy. Christ who told us to forgive one another 70 times 7. So what is this joy and, and how does one enter into it? It is experienced by encountering Jesus and then evangelizing others. Despite our many weaknesses, Christ is always presenting us with situations where we can encounter him personally. Pope Francis tells us that it is important to focus on the gospel. We need to read it and reflect on it. We will deepen our understanding of all that is going on around us in society through scripture, wherein Christ encounters us. Celebrate forgiveness in the sacraments. Celebrate the gospel in your church and, and in your home. Celebrate the good news of Jesus destroying death and making possible for all a salvation, a life, and an experience of infinite joy. Celebrate the eternal thanksgiving of the Eucharist. A wonderful concrete opportunity for celebrating this joy is the upcoming Sabor Part 1 to be held on May the 3rd, 2014 here in Saskatoon. We will reflect as an eparchial family on how we have been called to evangelize families as families. Each of us has a role to play in the family as a mother, father, child, brother, sister, grandparent, aunt, uncle, etc. These early relationships in our lives have formed us in a significant way and they continue to form us into better followers of Christ. After recalling this gift our family has been for each of us, it follows that we must ask how we can celebrate the resurrection of Christ as a family. This will be an example for others then about how they can celebrate this profound feast of salvation with their own families. Our joys and our pain over the years are meant to be a gift to one another so that all are strengthened in the faith and encouraged to share their Christ encounter with others. Another concrete way to tell us of the resurrection is to participate in the eparchial survey available at your parish or found on our eparchial website. Be counted and show others that your experiences in the eparchy are meant to shape the eparchy and build the kingdom of God here on earth. Share how the resurrection of Jesus has tangible and visible results in your life. And when you participated in the Vision 2020 reflection in your parish, you actually brought about the, the will of God in your vibrant parish. Build each other up here as we pray, together in solidarity with our brothers and our sisters in Ukraine. The brazen attitude of those who oppress the human dignity of our families and friends in the homeland of Ukraine. It's an abrupt wake-up call for each of us to, to reflect on how we here have been witnessing, witnessing to our faith in daily lives here in the Epic of Saskatoon. The opportunity to celebrate in a way 
that makes a difference in society is upon us. Again, Pope Francis' advice rings true here. Accept this offer of salvation and be set free from sin, sorrow, and inner emptiness and loneliness. May we give thanks then for the spiritual progress that has been made during this great fast. May all of us show mercy to others since we have experienced God's abundant mercy, rising to new life. May our personal encounters with Christ become the very gifts that we share with others, witnessing to the faith like many Christians that are being martyred in so many other areas of the world today. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. May Christ who dwells in our hearts, our families, and in our vibrant parishes give life to all. And on this Feast of the Resurrection of our Lord, we pray that God's love fills your heart and through you the hearts of all. Christ is risen. Indeed, he's risen. Christos voskres, voistinu voskres.